Hi and welcome to our video 0 0.3 physical versus chemical changes. Now matter is always changing, right? If you put ice in a drink, you see it melts. You put wood on a fire, you see it burns. Things are constantly changing. Now physical changes are changes that do not alter the chemical properties of a substance. So they're usually like a change in size or shape. Could also be a change in phase right here, right? We have ice, solid water, becoming liquid water. And well, the size and shape that kind of change along with that. So some examples, when you cut paper, you're changing the size and shape. Melting, as shown here. Boiling. Okay, these are all examples of physical changes and they can be reversed physically. Okay? You can put things back together. If you melt something, you can refreeze it. If you boil it, you can condense it to go back from a gas to a liquid. So these can all be reversed physically. Chemical change, on the other hand, is a reaction in which the composition of a substance is changed. What it's made of gets changed during the chemical change. And during it, a new or different substance is formed. For example, rusting. When metal rusts, it's actually changing from the metal to rust. When you burn something, right here we have a log burning, at the end, what do you have? You have ash and smoke. And these cannot be reversed physically. Okay, unless I have magical chemicals involved, I'm not going to turn this ash back into wood. Some signs of a chemical change, and it's not 100%, not every time you see one of these means it's a chemical change, but general signs or evidence is when there's a color change, there's usually been a chemical change. If you see bubbling or fizzing, there's been a chemical change. And usually when there's energy produced or consumed, when something is getting really, really hot on its own or really, really cold on its own. It's usually evidence that there's been a chemical change. All right, question time. Here, I'm not going to help you. You're on your own. Pause it and see if you can label each of these as a physical change or a chemical change. And that brings us to the end of 0.3, and I will see you guys at school.